All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to HSCL Spring Rocket League season. This is week one of the regular season. We have played two weeks of competition already, but those were pre-season weeks. And today we have Sir Breadcrumbs, Zappo, and Clapo are our three players. Perfect, so we're playing against Bellport High School. Here we go. Oh no, unfortunate. All right, first point is going to go to Belmont High School. An unfortunate pinch, an unfortunate open goal. Kenny Penny takes the first point. In the first three seconds. I don't think we'll see that happen again. Clapo almost gets a return point. So yeah, we have got Sir Breadcrumbs, Clapo, and Zappo are our three players. And then Abel, I'm sorry, um, Belmont has got Kenny, Abel, and Avrezi. Some nice movement by Kenny Penny. Zappo gets a shot on goal. Avrezi is there to block. He doesn't get the boost he wanted, so Breadcrumbs around the corner. Kenny Penny on defense. Clapo sends it back into the corner. Zappo chips it high up into there. Kenny Penny tries to get there. It doesn't. Abel misses. Breadcrumbs takes the shot. It goes wide. It hits Abel. Abel goes to air. Guides it down towards Lake Stevens. Kenny Penny gets a touch. All three Lake Stevens players sitting there in that corner. Clapo off the wall. Sir Breadcrumbs bounces off. He has no boost. He rolls back on defense. Oh, it bounces off the top post. And Avrezi gets a second point for Belmont High School. A little bit of a miss there. One minute in, Belmont is up two points. Lake Stevens with some pretty good offensive pressure though. Breadcrumbs pinches it into that corner. Zappo tries to go for it, but it's sent into Lake Stevens territory. Clapo rolls around the corner, sneaks it past Avrezi, tries to get it past Kenny. Kenny Penny goes up on the wall, bounces it off the ceiling, rolls it to midfield. Breadcrumbs is there, challenges it, pinches it up to the ceiling. Abel gets the touch. Avrezi tries to get the goal there. It goes a little bit too far to the left. Kenny Penny tries to secure, but all three Lake Stevens players there to block. Sir Breadcrumbs rolling in on offense. Sends it soaring up into the sky. Kenny Penny floating around on defense. Gets a pass from his teammate. A shot on goal. Second shot on goal. Second one sneaks in there. Breadcrumbs not able to get that touch in time. Zeppo gets a nice touch, rolls it up into Belmont territory. Kenny Penny off the corner misses the touch. Breadcrumbs taps it, but it rolls back into midfield. Kenny Penny with a little flick towards the goal. Good block by Sir Breadcrumbs. Clapo gets a shot. Kenny Penny on defense sends it up above the post. Clapo deadens the impact, but then it's cleared by Belmont. Sir Breadcrumbs takes a shot a little bit too high here. No other Lake Stevens player is able to make anything out of it. Zappo stops the momentum. Breadcrumbs goes back for boost. Clapo is trying to maneuver into position, but not able to make anything out of it. Sir Breadcrumbs is demoed. Avrezi gets an open shot there. Breadcrumbs in position now. Nice pass. Very well played by Avrezi. Just waited for his teammate and then sent it down to him. All right, Lake Stevens halfway through this game and down 0 4. Man, the way Sir Breadcrumbs was there was almost like they intended it. Breadcrumbs gets a demo of his own. I'd be curious if we see a couple more of those coming in now. That might be a good way to counter this hyper-aggressive, very accurate team. Kenny Penny misses that touch. Abel is able to keep it in the goal. Clapo is demoed. No Vikings in the goal. Clapo slams it off the post just barely. 
Zappo pinches it hard. It's still in the danger zone here. Open goal of Rezzy gets a fifth point for Belmont High School. Zappo wins that one. It's out in front of the goal. Breadcrumbs takes the shot. Bounces off the post. Oh, he doesn't get it. Unfortunate. Oh, man. The dribble right into the goal by Abel. Even with the demo. And Belmont running away with this first game, 6-0 to zero with 90 seconds left in the game. Breadcrumbs with some speed, sends it in towards the goal. Two Lake Stevens players flying through the air trying to make something out of it. Breadcrumbs on defense. Clears it before Abel's able to do anything with it. Deadens it. Abel up off the wall, sends it to the middle. Plapo sneaks it past the defense there. Breadcrumbs off the wall, sends it into Belmont territory. Gets the boost. That's going to be a shot right there for Abel. They're slippery. Breadcrumbs able to get the block there. Goes to air. Abel sends it out towards the goal. Clapo tries to block. But they sneak it past. It's 8-0 to zero right now. Two Lake Stevens players aerial defense there. But they just found the angle they needed to get it into that top right corner. Kenny rolls it around to the corner. Zappa on defense. Breadcrumbs hanging out there in the corner. Clapo clears it. It's out in front. Off the top of the post. Kenny tries to do something with it. He can't. Breadcrumbs booms it down towards the goal. Just too far to the left. Zappo up off the top part of the post. Clapo gets a demo, but no point comes of it. Clapo clears it. Kenny steals it. And that's going to be the first game. Lake Stevens is going to need to find a way to uh, ad adapt to that hyper-aggressive, very accurate aerial control from Belmont High School. This game, uh, we've adjusted the servers. Um, so Breadcrumbs was having a lot of connectivity issues. Um... Hopefully, hopefully that's what we were noticing was just connectivity issues. Um, and when we have connectivity issues like this, um, when we have connectivity issues like this, what we're supposed to do is alternate servers between the home team and the way team. So they hosted, they were running it on um, NA East. Um, and since that we're thinking that may have been the source of the connectivity issues for breadcrumbs. We swapped over to NA West for this game. If that doesn't solve the issue, then we'll sub Sir Breadcrumbs out for somebody else. All right, so Belmont High School is up one to zero. Open goal. Breadcrumbs. Oh, no. Breadcrumbs misses the touch there. Oh. 
All right, first point goes to Belmont. Zappo is able to challenge that one. Breadcrumbs is able to clear it out into the corner. Avrezi is there. Gets a shot on an open goal. Oh, but Clapo is able to slam it into the left side of the post. Breadcrumbs on defense. Zappo clears it. Clapo with a little bit of a dribble. Zappo sends it to midfield, rolls it up the wall. And Avrezi shoots it. Breadcrumbs deflects. Floating high in Vikings territory. Clapo tries to di dribble. Doesn't get it very far, but does keep it in their territory. So does Breadcrumbs. Pinches it down towards their goal, but it's saved by a nice touch from their from their players there. No Lake Stevens players there were, were able to make anything of that setup. Breadcrumbs sends it towards the goal. Kenny Penny on defense. Slow dribble. Gets a demo. Zappo with a little tap. Does not get it in the goal, but Breadcrumbs slams it in. Three minutes and 20 seconds left. We are tied one to one. And Lake Stevens takes their first point. Oh my gosh, beautiful touch by Abrezi. Breadcrumbs challenges that one. Does not connect. Zappo on defense. Does not get it past Avrezi. Lake Stevens, where are you guys? No, they both went out for the boost. That goal was open for so long. Clapo tried to get there. Almost gets the save. Zappo wins the challenge, floats it, breadcrumbs goes to air, shoots it at the goal, too far to the right. Avrezi gets a shot, breadcrumbs goes to air, blocks it, sends it into the corner, gets a boost, sneaks it past two, tries to pinch it, a beautiful pinch, and like Steven slams it in. That was the Sir Breadcrumbs show right there, he snuck it past two of them. And he, he didn't get the shot he wanted, so instead he just sent it over to his teammates. That was beautiful. Clapo clears it. Two Belmont players go to air. Breadcrumbs is there. He shoots and it's blocked by Avrezi. Now Lake Stevens has to hustle back on defense. Breadcrumbs gets a demo. Kenny pinches it. Zappo's on defense. Nice save by Clapo. Abel gets demoed. Nice block by Sir Breadcrumbs. Oh my gosh, Clapo, I think, just set it out. Out of the angle. Breadcrumbs clears it. 90 seconds left. Lake Stevens is down by a point. He almost sneaks it in there with so much speed. Zappo gets a shot. It goes too far to the right. Okay. Clapo gets demoed, but Lake Stevens does does block it. Kenny Petty caught, caught off guard for a second there. Sent booming down towards their goal. Oh my god, Sir Breadcrumbs from downtown! I don't even really think that was Sir Breadcrumbs. I think it was like two people pinching it at a beautiful angle. And we are tied up 
three to three with 61 seconds left in this second game. Clapo clears it. Got a lot of speed going on this game. Zappo sends it high. Breadcrumbs goes to air. Doesn't touch it. Missed it. He's out of boost. Evrezi challenged there. Breadcrumbs rotates back for some boost. Kenny Penny misses the touch. Clapo comes in, slams it down into the corner. Oh, blocked though. Sir Breadcrumbs chips it down, bounces it. Oh, he almost gets the double touch. 30 seconds left. Like Stevens down by one. Evrezi pinches it. Zappo shoots. It goes too far to the right. Good job from Breadcrumbs. Clapo gets demoed. Zappo pinches. It goes across the pitch. 11 seconds left. Kenny Penny misses. This might be the chance. Breadcrumbs gets past one. Goes for the dribble. Gets it over the side. Oh, and it's set off to the side. Lake Stevens goes for the... Oh, no! Zappo missed! No, it's overtime. Three to three. Game two. No! 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 You hate to see it. Okay, so we are swapping back over to NA East, but we are also swapping out Sir Breadcrumbs for X7 Hayes. Did I wake you up? Yes. I'm so sorry. I thought that your mom had taken you out of the room. I thought you were out downstairs. So no. I was yelling loudly. She's still sleeping. I ah. thought, oh, you, <laughs> you wanna say hi? You guys check it out this is her baby yoda hood yeah hi there did you have a good nap that was like almost two hours long i'm sorry i woke you up i apologize i thought mommy took you downstairs no no i was wrong all right here we go this is game three we have swapped out so breadcrumbs for X7 Hayes. Zappa wins the challenge again, sends it out towards Belmont territory. Clapo gets demoed. It's in the Belmont corner. Hayes rolls it down to the corner. Zappo's in position. He tries to get it, but he misses it. A good touch by Hayes. Oh no, an open goal. It hits the top and it pinches to the side. That was so close. Clapo sends it to the corner. Gets a little bit of a dribble, rolls it around. Kenny Penny's in position. Hayes is on defense, floating up in the danger zone. Hayes goes for the touch, clears it. Kenny Penny rolls it back into Lake Stevens territory. Clapo, Zappo, and Hayes all on defense. There's the pinch. Kenny Penny tries to slam it in, but it goes the wrong direction. I think he bounced it off his teammate. Hayes wins the challenge, slams it off the wall. Evrezi on defense, but he gets demoed. Zappo rolling back into the goal. Kenny Penny tried to take it off of Abel's hood. Clapo, a little bit of a dribble challenge, sent high into midfield, and then comes zooming down. Zappo sends it into the corner for a Belmont territory. Hayes almost gets the shot there. Clapo sends it into the corner. Let's see if Hayes can do anything here. Clapo sends it to the other side. Hayes missed that one. Evrezi sends it high up off the ceiling. Left side of the Lake Stevens post. Abel a little bit too high there. Hayes slams it down onto the ground. Clapo clears it. Evrezi catches it. Sends it into the corner, but gets pushed out of the way. Kenny does a little backflip. Hayes, oh no, sets it up and it sneaks in the left side. Hayes accidentally kind of passes it out to the other team. And no other Lake Stevens players there on defense. All right, we are almost two minutes in and Belmont is up one to zero. Zappo got a shot on goal, but Abel was able to fly into position. 
Oh, a great shot by Abel. Like Stevens, two people in the goal, but neither of them able to get up to where they needed to be. A good shot by Abel, too. Nice aerial pressure. Looks like Kenny Penny may have slammed it in there as well. Clapo pinches it high. Hayes does not get the touch he wanted. Zappo gets a little tap. Clapo sends it high up into the corner. Hayes is on defense. He comes out of the goal. Challenges. Blocks of Rezzi's shot. He gets demoed, though. Clapo gets a shot on goal. Evrezi blocks. Clapo sends it back towards the goal. Abel catches it. A nice stop by Zappo. Rolling back into Lake Stevens territory. Clapo slowly on defense. Sends it off the post. Bit of a weird touch for Clapo there. Hayes gets a shot. Probably going to go for that double touch. Punches it, slams it past of Rezzi. And Lake Stevens is on the board. It's a lot of speed on that shot. It's hard to block that. Nice takeaway by Hayes. Abel, caught flat-footed, floating towards their goal right now. Clapo does challenge it in the air. Hayes is in position. He doesn't have the angle that he needs to, though. Clapo rotates back on defense. Zappo keeps it in their territory, though. A pass to Hayes? Nope. Clapo booms it. Midfield didn't have the boost he needed, though. Hayes, a nice touch. Avrezi's on defense. Zappo gets the stop. Kenny Penny punts it down towards Lake Stevens territory. Rolls it into the corner. Hayes is on defense. Hayes gets it clear. I think if Rezzi's going to be able to block this. That's a goal for Hayes. It's 2-2. Two to two. He tried to block it, but he couldn't get the angle that he needed to. I actually think if he had, if he had let it go, I think his teammate would have been able to block it. But instead, he sends it just into the top right corner. And Lake Stevens in game three is now tied 2-2. Two to two. Hayes wins the challenge. Get some boost. Hayes off the air! No way! Hayes is on fire right now! What was that? How did he get up there so fast? Like Stevens takes the lead for the first time in the set. Abel sends it into the corner. Hayes clears. Or Clapo clears. I didn't see who cleared. Clapo, a big shot. Bounces off the top of the post. Oh, Hayes tried to slam it in, but he didn't get it. What a shot! Zappo gets a point! It's 4-2! to two. Like Stevens is now ahead by two points with 60 seconds left. Avrezi not able to get there. Touches it with the, the front of his car. All right, a, a pinch back on defense. Clapo not able to get the touch there. Evrezi gets demoed. It's in their territory. Evrezi's back. Hayes was not in the position that he wanted to be there. He's up off the wall. A pinch! No way! Oh, <laughs> Hayes! With a slow rolling pinch. And then a secure when Evrezi tries to block. And Hayes comes out of nowhere. Hayes is having an incredible day. 30 seconds left. Lake Stevens is up three points. Floats up in front of their goal. Oh, man. Hayes does. Oh, Hayes misses the shot. You can't have them all, Hayes. Oh, my gosh. Abel does get one at the very end there. 15 seconds left. Hayes is up four points right now. All 
All right, Lake Stevens needs to hang on to this lead. Clapo sends it into their territory. And that's going to be the game. Game three goes to Lake Stevens. Okay. Here we are. We're back. Zappo gets the first blood! Lake Stevens suddenly has found some new breath in their lungs. Clapo wins the challenge, rolls it into Belmont territory. Sir Breadcrumbs around the corner. Kenny Penny on defense. Clapo's there. Nice block by Sir Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs back with a vengeance. Gets jostled by Kenny. Zappo and Clapo both sitting in the goal there. Abel deads it. Gets sent out of the way by Breadcrumbs. It bounces off the right side of the post. Everezzi punts it to the side. Lake Stevens, no one in position. Breadcrumbs takes the shot. It's 2-0. Lake Stevens takes the lead. All right. Kenny Penny, high flying. Blocked, but still in a scary spot. Oh my god, what a crazy save by Clapo! Alright, still a scary spot here. Still floating in that deadly corner. Avrezi deads it. Zappo gets the clear. It sneaks past Avrezi, but Abel was there. Clapo punches it in there. Is anybody there? Oh, it goes too far to the left. That was a point for Lake Stevens. Oh, Breadcrumbs almost gets one of those legendary breadcrumb angles. But instead, Zappo rolls it around. Is anyone going to be there if Rezzy clears it? Clapo punches it back in there. Oh, man. I think Breadcrumbs got demoed there. No way! A shot from Zappo, and it is now 3-0. Bounces it off of the opponent's car and gets it in there. Bit of a clash mid-air. Lake Stevens players bumping into each other on accident. Oh, that was scary. Clapo missed, but Zappo was there. Zappo goes to air. Misses. Breadcrumbs is in the goal. Abel sends it up. It's going to bounce off that top part. Kenny Penny doesn't get the angle he needs to. Evrezi rolls it around. Zappo just trying to stay in the way. It goes a little bit too far to the left. We're getting some remarks from the Belmont squad. Zappo sends it out to the corner. Evrezi punches it high up to the top. A good shot, but a block by Clapo. Breadcrumbs rolls it out. Buy some breathing room. Good play by Abel there. Into the goal. Breadcrumb sends it out with the hood of his car. Oh, challenge there. Abel's got some boost. Clapo rolls it around. Uh-oh. Two Lake Stevens players floating, free-falling. Zappo needs to do something here. He needs to buy his team some time. I think he did it. Abel sends it a little bit too high up there. Breadcrumbs clears it. Gets some boost for his troubles. Clapo clears it back. Goes to air. Doesn't get the touch he needs. He's on the wall now. Floating high at midfield. Zappo sends it towards the goal. Abel's there though. Oh my gosh. He almost was able to double tap it in there. Lake Stevens has come alive in these last two games. I think they were caught caught off guard by that first one. The East server really throwing Sir Breadcrumbs off. No way! Clapo! Oh, what a shot by Clapo, but a good block by Abel. But Clapo says it's mine anyway! 
Lake Stevens on a tear right now. What a crazy shot and a crazy secure by Clapo. Nice touch by Abel. Breadcrumbs gets a, a shot. Oh, it's going to go float a little bit too much. I think he wanted to get some speed and some punch on that one. Zappo rolls it around the corner. Evrezi blocks it. Kenny Penny sends it out. No Lake Stevens players are on defense. Clapo. Oh, he punts it up high to get it out of the way. Zappo. No. <laughs> they tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. They both tried so hard there, man. Ah. Oh. All right, that's okay. Lake Stevens is still up three points with 55 seconds left to go in this fourth game. All right, Abel's doing some dribbling now. Breadcrumb says not today. Punches it high. Averzi goes to air but misses. Kenny punches. Zappo blocks. Abel shoots. It goes too far to the left. Clapo is in the goal. Breadcrumbs goes up on the corner. They just need to buy 30 seconds. That might be a shot. No, it bounces off the left side. Breadcrumbs is able to clear it. 20 seconds left. Clapo bounces it down, and that's point number five. And the point distribution for Lake Stevens right now is crazy. 2-2-1. Two, two, Look at the shots and assists. Lake Stevens is on fire right now. 17 seconds left with four... Seven, sorry. 17 seconds left. Four point difference between these two teams. Lake Stevens sure looks like is going to be going into game five tied 2-2. Two to two. And who would have thought ending game one down 8-0 to zero to come back like this. Maybe a little bit of change of attitude, a different, different servers going on, some better communication. Lake Stevens is going to take game number four. It is 2-2. Two to two, And we now swap over to the East server. <clears throat> okay. They are swapping over to the East server and Hayes is swapping back in. Okay, good. It sounded like they weren't going to be able to join for a second, but they must have figured it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is game five of seven. This is a best of seven, so you need to win four. And the score is currently two to two. Clapo sends it deep into Belmont territory. Hayes is there, deadens it. Kenny Penny pinches it. Zappo gets a touch just a little bit too far to the left. And Hayes decides to rotate back a little bit. Clapo's on defense. Gives it some heat to get it out of there. Hayes clears it. Gets it over Abel. Clapo stops that one. And is able to get it back towards Vikings territory. Good block by Zappo. Avrezi's still in there. Oh my gosh. Just off the top of his car there. Oh, Hayes. Hayes being a little bit scary there. Oh, Hayes tries to tries to set that one up for his teammate. Zappo's back on defense. Oh, what a shot! What a shot from Abel off the ceiling. It's one to zero. That was very nicely done. Zappo tried to get back there. I don't think he had the boost to get where he needed to. Clapo wins the challenge again. This is a good spot. Come on! Oh, man. That was the perfect setup. Hayes didn't have the angle that he needed there. Abel showing some pretty strong aerial control this game. Oh, Zappo with a block. Zappo with another block. That was close. Pinched up high up against the ceiling. Nice, nice defensive play by Hayes. Kenny sends it back down. Zappo's on defense. Uh-oh, that's not good, but Abel missed. 
Clapple's able to clear. Kenny deadens it, but Clapple rolls it back around. Hayes is in position. Pinches to the corner. Kenny Penny fumbling, tumbling. Clapple rolls it to the corner, rolls back, gets some boost. Hayes gets a demo. Zappo, Clapple rotate back on defense. Clapple stops it. It's rolling around. Zappo rolls it back around the corner. What a great angle. But of Rezzy on the ceiling. Great defensive play on that ceiling. Hayes rolls it back into the corner. Hayes chips it up. Oh, Clapo tried to slam that one in there, but wasn't able to. Lake Stevens back on defense. Hayes sends it to the side. Rolls it around the corner. He's got some boost. Got some speed. He pinches it. Oh, my gosh. Zappo gets it in there after a beautiful assist from Hayes, who somehow rolls it up over the hoods of all three. One, two, three. And Zappo slams it in. We're tied one to one with two minutes and nine seconds left in the fifth game. Oh, that was scary. Zappo gets the touch, but so does Abel. It's in Lake Stevens' corner now. Hayes tries to clear, but doesn't. Clapo does. It's above the Lake Stevens' goal. Zappo gets a little bit of speed, but Evrezi stops the momentum. A nice shot by Clapo. Almost, almost the angle he needed for a goal. Hayes rolls it in! It gets the second point! And Lake Stevens takes the lead in Game 5! With a minute and 47 seconds left. A nice clash by Zappo. All three Belmont players on that left side of the pitch. Tries to block a player. He knew he wasn't going to get the shot there. So instead he tries to block a player. Clapo with a little tap over the top. Zappo a little tap over the clock. Over the oh, I can't talk right now. A little tap over the top. <clears throat> Kenny Penny off the ceiling. Hayes booms it down towards Belmont territory. 70 seconds left. Zappo rolls it around the corner. Hayes is there, but doesn't have the angle he needs to do anything. And Clapo shoots, but he goes a little bit too far to the right. Zappo stops that one. Hayes chips it. Almost some Sir Breadcrumbs action going on there. Rolling back down towards their goal. Zappo's in position. He touches it. No, he doesn't. Clapo rolls it in. That's a goal for Lake Stevens. 3-1. to one. 50 seconds left in game five. And if Lake Stevens can hold this lead, we'll take the lead in the set for the first time since we started an hour ago. Hayes goes to air. Oh my god, what a shot from Hayes with style right off the bat. Lake Stevens is going crazy right now. Lake Stevens has found their rhythm. Think back to game one, down eight to zero. Oh my gosh, Clapo almost gets a point there. Hayes goes to it, taps it, doesn't get the angle he needs to, rolls it into the corner instead. Clapo's back on defense. I'm not sure exactly what Lake Stevens has done specifically, but what I do know is this. No longer are those silly points sneaking past. Hayes doesn't have the boost he wants. Oh my god, he does have the boost he wants. It's 5-1. to one. Hayes is going off right now. Man, Clapo just has a, an amazing time um, winning those challenges and sending them into their territory. Oh, a little bit of a touch by Hayes there. Oh, he clears it with so little boost. And Lake Stevens with seven seconds left, four points up. Clapo punches it but doesn't get the angle he needs. That is going to be game number five. And Lake Stevens goes up three to two.
Nobody wants to let this one die. <laughs> there it is. We move into game six. Lake Stevens is up 3-2 right now. If Lake Stevens can win this game, and that's it. Let's jump right into it. Sir Breadcrumbs is back in the action. Stopped by Lake Stevens. Abel slams it up into the ceiling. Breadcrumbs misses that tap, unfortunately, but Zappo's there. Nice touch. Breadcrumbs rotates back on defense. Nice touch by Breadcrumbs. Oh, I thought he was going to send it up over the top there. Clapo instead pinches it, sends it high into midfield. Kenny goes to air. Two Lake Stevens players in position to do something about it. Abel does get the touch, though. If Rezzy gets a shot, no, he doesn't. So Breadcrumbs snakes it away from him. He tries to get the shot. Oh, but Kenny Penny's able to get the angle there. Oh, he missed. Breadcrumbs on defense. No! He missed it. Oh, man. All right. Belmont takes the lead in game six after an unfortunate miss by Breadcrumbs in the air there. Zappa wins another challenge. He's got to be doing it on purpose. Very well played by Abel, but Clapo gets the best of it. Sends it into the corner. Deadens it. Breadcrumbs was there, but not able to do anything about it. They're bumping into each other. Abel misses that one. Kenny misses that one. Lake Stevens booms it down towards Belmont. A lucky break for Lake Stevens. Breadcrumbs almost gets the double touch. But instead, Clapo sends it, centers it. Sir Breadcrumbs rolling back, rotating to get some boost. Gets demoed. Oh, Zappo almost gets it past Avrezi. Zappo gets demoed. Oh my gosh, they almost got it. Not sure if that demo was on purpose or not. <laughs> Seeing some more demos now, though. Zappo, a very slight touch there. Nice. Rolls it into the corner. of Rezzy stops it. Sends it back to midfield. Zappo just slows it down. Nice block by Zappo. Clapo misses that one. Breadcrumbs misses the touch there, but kind of psychs him out in the process. Zappo tries to block, but misses. Fortunately, Clapo's back there. Clapo rolls it slowly back around the corner. Breadcrumbs booms it down there. Evrezi takes a shot. Zappo gets the block. Clapo clears it. Evrezi stops it, rolls it into the corner. Still a scary spot to be in here. Clapo sends it out of the way. Kenny stops it, rolls it back into Vikings territory. Breadcrumbs slams it off the ceiling, and Zappo pinches it to the corner back into Belmont territory. Evrezi gets the touch. Oh, a big shot goes a little bit too far up to the right. Breadcrumbs stops it. Rotates. Gets some boost. Clapo rolls it past Avrezi. Gets it past Kenny Penny. Zappo is lining up. Clapo's there. He takes the shot. There it is. It's one to one. With a minute and 58 seconds left in game six. We are tied up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my voice is going to be gone tomorrow. Clapo wins the challenge. Zappo and Clapo, they just every challenge, they're where they need to be. A shot by Zappo! It's 2 1! Lake Stevens takes the lead in game six with a minute and 52 seconds left. Lake Stevens just needs to hold this lead for another. One minute, 50 seconds, and then that will be the biggest dub of all time. Let's go, Vikings! Breadcrumbs doesn't win the challenge. Gets demoed. Oh, a beautiful save by Zappo. Clapo goes to air. Zappo sends it out of the way. I think maybe Belmont thinking they have to adjust their strategy. We're seeing a lot more demos this time around. 
and demos can certainly oh my gosh that was so close Capo with the save the vikings are unstoppable right now demos can certainly throw off your game i don't know if that's what's happening to the vikings right now but you can definitely see a, a change in their strategy breadcrumbs sneaks it past two of them rotates back for some boost kenny penny off the wall <clears throat> caught a little flat-footed breadcrumbs rolls it around the corner abel's there oh Breadcrumb centers it, but no one was there to, to do anything about it. And a little bit too much heat on it anyway. 65 seconds left. Zappo gets demoed. Breadcrumbs, a slow tap. Oh my gosh, the psych out of the slam from Clapo. Kenny with the save. 55 seconds left. Lake Stevens, if Lake Stevens can put one more point on the board, this would almost be for sure a win. Let's go, Vikings. Breadcrumb sneaks it past him. They're able to get it out of that corner. Clapo waiting. Waiting for his opportunity to sneak in. Punches it. Zappo takes a shot too high into the left. Clapo tries to roll it back. 30 seconds left. Rolling into Lake Stevens territory now. Breadcrumbs challenges. Sends it into Belmont territory. 25 seconds left. Abel grabs the boost away from Sir Breadcrumbs. He rotates back on defense. Zappo's there. It rolls a little bit too far to the right. And Clapo punches it hard into that corner. Clears it deep into Belmont territory. He goes to air. Challenges the frizzy. Gets the challenge. Ten seconds left. Zappo just needs to buy some time. Clapo's there to help. Come on. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Lake Stevens wins 4-2 to two after coming back from the game one where we lost 8-0. to zero. Lake Stevens does it. I cannot believe what I just watched. There were two really rough games at the beginning. Two really, really rough games at the beginning. And I feel like Lake Stevens uh, walked away from those games feeling a little demoralized. But Hayes comes in game three and says, now we still got some life in us. And then Brett comes and goes, you know what? Okay. All right, Hayes. Okay, and then he starts, and then Zappo and, oh my gosh, I just, I'm like babbling here because that was so exciting. Oh my gosh. Lake Stevens takes the first regular match of the high school esports league against Belmont High School in style. GG's to Belmont High School, you guys. How can you not love esports? Dallas in the chat says, we had it in the bag. I'm not going to lie, okay? I saw the 8-0 score in game one, and I was not sure we had it in the bag. And then we lost game two, and I wasn't sure we had it in the bag. I'm not going to lie. I, I, it's not, I'm not, I wasn't doubting the school. It's just, you know, you see a, a couple games like that, and you go, okay, this is, this is the... These are the skill levels we're working with, but Lake Stevens started to, to firm up the play, better communication, better defensive play, incredible defensive play by Lake Stevens, and some great aerial pressure by Breadcrumbs, some great uh, assists around the corners of the goal by Zappo and Clapo. Oh my gosh. You guys, if you would like to watch more Lake Stevens High School esports in the future, make sure you follow this Twitch channel because check out what we got going for us, okay? How, you do not want to miss something like that going forward. That was awesome. But you can also check out our YouTube channel, LSHS Video Game Club. Um, I have been slowly editing, trimming, rendering, and uploading videos from all of our esports matches for the last year. All of last year's matches are up there. A small handful of this year's Smash matches are up there, and I will continue to slowly edit and upload them as I have time to do so. Um, you can also check out our Twitter and Instagram pages for updates on our esports. Um, our handles are at esports underscore LSHS. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.